So, a couple weeks ago, Kanye decided to make a tweet saying that he likes TikTok, but he doesn't like the content on it. Or something along those lines, right? And I really like Kanye. Not as a president, but like as an artist. And it really got me thinking, I wonder if I could build TikTok in 24 hours like a, a TikTok clone. So, today we're going to be making a TikTok clone. But we're going to be making it for Kanye West. So, we'll call it Crisscross. So I'm gonna see how far I can get. Um, and I actually wanna have some functionality. I don't wanna just, you know, just make the UI, right? Like who cares about just making the UI of an app? I wanna see if I can actually implement some functionality into this bad boy. So 24 minutes is on the clock. And uh, what do we got? It's 7.21 PM on September 3rd. That means if you do some maths, it's gonna be like September 4th, 721. So 24 hours, put it on the clock, starting now. Let's do it. Then All right, so this thing was crawling inside my office and it freaked me the fuck out. Look at this thing. God. This thing was freaky as hell. So, very freaky girl, don't take her home to mom. All right, so I'm officially freaked out, but that doesn't really matter. Um, this is what I got done so far. So I know it doesn't look like much for having spent what, like three hours on it, four hours on it. Um, but we have a lot of the key components here, right? We have the screen that's gonna essentially be playing the video and we have the tab bar, which we'll be able to switch. Um, the icons are like pretty good in my opinion, you know, uh, also changing the tab bar flips the color. That's something that happens in TikTok, whatever. But yeah, um, in the process of doing all that, you know, saw this big ass spider, which I killed and I used all my rage to kill it. I don't like that, man. Look at, I've never seen a spider that big. That's freaking disgusting. Ugh, I got him. I don't want that crawling on me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm done for today. Um, it's past my bedtime. I go to sleep usually, or like I try to, you know, punch out at like 10:30, and then wind down from there. Um, so I should be in bed right now. I'll pick up tomorrow morning, probably like around six or 6:30. If I could get up at 6:30, or like if I could get up at 5:30, I should be in here by 6:30 and. You know, we can continue from there and I'll, that's when I'll make all the, the good progress. Yeah. 
All right, good night. So it's the next day, um, it's 7.06. I slept in a little bit because after that big ass spider wanted to turn me into Spider-Man or Miles Morales or something, I just couldn't sleep. So I ended up staying up a little bit later and waking up a little bit later, but I still have 12 hours. Now, we don't have a whole lot going on. I can change the color of the, of the screen and things like that, but we still got a long way to go. We still got to implement functionality, but I think it's still doable. So let's get into it. So it's 11 11 it's time to make a wish I wish that I can get this project done um, <laughs> um, no but that that means that we have about eight hours left to finish the project right and I know that I'm probably gonna take like another hour off in between now and then so it's realistically seven hours of work time pretty much just a full day of regular people's work right so let's see where we can go I'm pretty confident. I think that we can get a lot done. Let's try it. So I have less than two hours. Oh my God, I don't think I'll make it. And um, I have less than two hours to get uh, the video uploaded and downloaded and display in the feed. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. I'm gonna be using um, Amplify, like I said, uh, AWS uh, tool set that, you know, should uh, expedite some of these processes for me, but it's going to be cutting it close and there's already a bug in the app where it's like not doing the audio. I'm not sure if audio is actually going to work. We're going to see what happens. Let's let's see what happens. <laughs> Oh, it worked. That's okay.
What the? Dude. That. That is good enough for me. Holy smokeronies. What the? What the? It did not just work right then. What? What the hell? On the first try, didn't even run anything. God, I'm good. Woo! That, that's pretty crazy. I didn't, I didn't run it once while I was writing all the, all the amplify code. I'm surprised. Okay, so. I think I started like, I started pretty close to the hour mark, the two hour mark or something like that, right? Like at 520, I think, I think that was the last time that I checked in and I was able to add in the functionality that it requires to be able to upload a video, save it like with all the data and download that that data and I did it on my first try which is like super freaking cool <laughs> uh, oh man that just I don't even want to go any further like right now all I'm doing is just like I'm archiving it so that I can um I can put it on this phone uh which is my real device because I really want to see it and yeah like I did I totally cut a lot of corners like towards the end and um the ui is all funky but like i just really love that the the main page you know like the feed i love that that's working and that's so crazy i still have to like add more videos but wow all right so let's take a look at the final product and we have crisscross right here and it loads up now with the last couple of like Things that I messed with, um, it doesn't autoplay um, on the first on the first video if it if the video has not been loaded yet. So that's kind of a bummer, but it's still pretty good. So so this is as you can see, it shows, and then um, you know you go to the next one, and then if it's not already loaded, then you have to like tap it to to load it. But like the really cool thing is like the UI is pretty similar. You know, uh, you have you have the looping that's going on, uh, which is really cool. And then you have the whole entire swipe and it, like it, it takes up the whole entire screen. So if you, I, I honestly believe like if somebody didn't know that much about TikTok and they saw this and they, they, they could probably guess that this might be TikTok. I don't know. But um, yeah, this is, this is what I was able to accomplish in 24 hours. It took such a long time to uh, get the UI in place. And, uh, you know, I really ran into problems when it came to video recording. Like I, I thought I hit a, a dead end. Luckily I was able to uh, download that one Swifty cam, Swifty camera or something like that, that library. Um, that really came in clutch for sure. And the fact that I was able to implement the, the actual functionality in um, like in like an hour, an hour and a half. I don't know exactly how long it was, but like the fact that I know that I had two hours left and I was able to go through code everything up with uh, AWS Amplify and get like all the functionality working. On my first try, the first video that I recorded, it technically worked. The, the only reason why it didn't work and it, it crashed um, after it did upload the video was because I forgot to return to a main thread. So other than that, it was, it was pretty, it was pretty cool. I was excited. So you let me know, what did you think about the, the end result? Do you think that you could have done better? I, I mean, like, are you going to try a challenge like this? I dare you to try a challenge like this. See like what you can accomplish in, um, you know, in one day, 24 hours. Um, I was, I was pretty happy with the end result. Like, uh, I wish that I was able to get a lot more done. I wish I had like more libraries that uh, I knew what I was going to use or like, you know, like at the end of the day, I was able to accomplish something pretty great. So that's pretty much it. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this. I th I think that it was a huge success, but you tell me, was, was 
the end product good enough or was it not good enough to like actually be considered a TikTok clone? You let me know. Um, but thanks for watching. I really appreciate your time. Now go out there and keep coding passionately.